Hello everyone, I'm Luca and in today's video I want to quickly show you how to make a pricing toggle in Framer without the need for any code. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are now in Framer and I'm gonna start from a blank canvas because I want to build everything from scratch to allow you to follow along but also to allow you to understand the whole process. To make things easier though, I'm gonna use the built-in pricing section that Framer provides. To access it, you can just go to the insert button in the top left corner and start typing pricing. As you can see, there is a section, a pricing section, that we can just drag and drop into our project. And if I now adjust its position, height and distribution, we now have a beautiful pricing section that we can use for our project. What we want to do now is to create a toggle here and allow the user to switch between a monthly and an annual pricing model. To do that, we are not going to use any code, but rather we're going to use Framer Components. If you're not familiar with Framer Components, do not worry because I'll guide you every step of the way. Let's begin by selecting the pricing frame we just used. Right click on it and select Create Component. I'm going to call it Pricing Toggle. As you can see now, we are in the component view and we have one variant, which is what we just created. The main idea is to create two variants, okay? One for the monthly option and one for the annual option. And when the user clicks on the toggle, we want to switch between two, these two variants and show different pricing cards. Now, to begin with, we obviously need to create the toggle. So let's begin by drawing a frame here. What we want to do now is uh, create some text for the monthly option. Okay. And we also want to uh, wrap this monthly option inside another frame. Uh, just trust me because this is gonna make things much easier later on in this video and you're gonna understand why. But for now, let's just set the width and height to fit. Let's give it some padding, maybe 10, maybe 5 on top and bottom, and 20 on right and left. And some, some radius, maybe 4. Perfect. And now let's duplicate this to also allow the user to select the annual version. Right. Perfect. Now let's style the whole container. Let's set the width and the height to fit. And the fill, I'm gonna use a gray, a gray that I created just before recording this video. Let's give it some padding and some radius. Perfect. What we want to do now is to create the actual toggle. So we're gonna uh, create a background just uh, behind the monthly option to allow the user to understand which model is currently seeing. To do that, uh, let's create a frame here and set its position to absolute. As you can see now, this uh, frame goes uh, is above the text and uh, that's not what we want. To change this behavior, we're gonna use a styling property called theta index. This property uh, basically tells the browser which what should go in front and what should go behind. Okay, so if we select the monthly and annual text, oops, okay, like this. What we want to do now is go to styles, data index, and as soon as I increase this data index, as you can see, the frame goes uh, behind the text, which is what we want. Now let's place it inside the monthly stack I, I created previously and set all the uh, and make it basically adhere to the, uh, to the container. Let's also give it a fill which, which is going to be white and some radius. And now we have a we have a pretty cool uh, toggle 
which doesn't work if we preview the project right now it doesn't work so it's still uh, uh, static if we want to make it uh, an animated interactive we're gonna need to create another variant which is gonna be our annual option so this variant is what we're gonna show the user when he selects the annual section the annual um, option so the we can also change the, the pricing cards to reflect the uh, annual pricing uh, annual pricing model okay and uh, what we want to do here is to take the frame that works as the toggle and move it inside the annual stack and just change this left constraint to zero um, and also the right constraint to zero right now now it's perfect and as you can see we now have two variants a monthly variant and an annual variant what we want to do now is allow the user to switch between these two using this toggle to do that we're going to select the annual container we previously created and add an interaction this new transition is gonna it's gonna be triggered on click and it's gonna change the variant from monthly to annual and we also want uh, the user to be able to go the other way around so we're gonna select the monthly uh, container in the annual variant and we are also gonna add a transition to allow the user to go to the monthly uh, model and if we now preview the project you can see that it works as intended now the user can switch between the monthly and the annual model and there's also this cool animation that Framer automatically handles all right that was basically it for my tutorial on how to make a pricing toggle in Framer if you don't want to build everything from scratch I will leave the remix link for this project in the description below also if you found the video helpful please consider subscribing and leaving a like and if you have any question on, or any topic you will want me to cover on this channel, feel free to ask in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.